Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days, where today we are going to go and find out, hopefully, fingers crossed, how much money we made. I'm super excited. I'm going to go and check on the orchard. Um, everything over here seems absolutely fine. I always give, I always chuck those load, the, the animals a load of food. And to be honest, like the fact that I'm chucking them food seems to be helping anyway. Just feeding them every day seems to help. Brushing increases their affection quicker, but they're doing everything I, I, want, I could possibly want them to do, so it's fine. Um, it does look absolutely fine at the moment. It looks like these guys are all okay. Um, and all growing up where they should be growing up and it doesn't look like I need to water anything and I think those apple trees at the back there just grew up yes I'm gonna give these guys just a little bit of a water at the front the pistachios so the fact they've got the little apples on them and the the hybrids uh, one of the hybrids has apples on when it gets to the stage three. Doesn't mean that it's ready. It'll be ready when it sparkles around its base. Then you know it's ready to harvest at that point. But yeah, they're definitely getting there. They're on stage three. I don't know what day they get to stage three. Maybe day 12 or something. Um, it, it looks like I think the cinnamon trees are at that stage as well. I think the cherry trees are. The apple trees were one of the last things because I've I've been planting them in rows going forward. They were one of the last things, and so the pistachios really are the the last thing to to go. So hopefully, but I think what I would probably do in future is I would still kind of have them. I probably would have them overlapping each other in one direction. But what I might have done is maybe had slightly bigger gaps between rows. So maybe go like. 10 between each row or something like that and then have eight between seven or eight between each tree it's not awful they are reasonably spaced out but i think i would maybe give them just a little bit more space but i i was basing it all on stage two growth like the size they were at stage two i i, I had it all measured out um and didn't realize they'd grow further so that's my fault so let's go <laughs> I think I think they're doing really well though, so I'm happy. I'm happy right now. I hope nothing happens to them because I like to go visit them every day. Because when I go visit them and I water stuff, they don't seem to to have problems. But uh, we'll have to see about that. It is a market day today. Wow. Okay, let's see how much money I got. And I might just head straight up to uh, Diamond Falls. Thirteen thousand. Yeah. Well, that worked. Uh, that worked well. See, this is what I do. I collect everything and then I realize, oh yeah, I can make a load of stuff at my kitchen. I hoard it all away and then suddenly I've got like thousands worth. I do need to go and see Sebastian today and hand in all of these um, gifts and things. But uh, I think I'm going to see if I can go up to Diamond Falls and buy a plot of land up there. And... Um, Hopefully they have a library up there too, because I can then go and look at what particular things I want to buy. I've already got chestnuts and plums, so that's two of them. There's three other trees, and I forget what they are. But let's, uh, before it gets too late, because it's a long old trip up there. Before it gets too late, let's go. I'm nearly there with the pistachios as well, which is brilliant. So around here is the mayor's office. I hope I can go in and say hi to the mayor. Um, apparently not. Okay. How, how do I... I need to go to the mayor to buy stuff, don't I? To buy land. Um, who and where is the mayor? I'm going to struggle to, to do all this if I can't get to the mayor's office. I, I've noticed that sometimes people go in there a bit later on in the day but this is the second time I've been up unless Casper is the mayor no we can pet Casper Casper loves us if we pet Casper apparently meow meow Casper's the only one we know in 
in this place. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to the diner then, the diamond diner. I'm gonna have a chat to the people in there then, I guess. So Fasha, hello, my name's Fasha, nice to meet you. Be sure to grab a bite at the local diner before you leave, that's where I work. Enjoy your stay. Okay. How are you doing? I run the diner all day, so if you're running low on energy, consider stopping by for breakfast or lunch. Everyone's usually at work, so come see me. Uh, save me from boredom, sorry. Who are you? Hey -o. You must be visiting from out of town. I can tell, uh, because, I mean, just look at you. My name's Greg, the cook at the local diner. Guess, don't get lost. Okay, so we're just trying to work out who people are up here. Oh, Vara. Hey, Shilab is finally here. Ah, oh, I've been here loads. <laughs> We've been waiting for your partner. The way you said that, it sounded vaguely threatening. Oh, hush, tell them while we're here. We want to give you a cake made to celebrate. Jounce Corp leaving. Yay! Heck, Jounce Corp. <laughs> it's all because of you, she love. Actually, Clem baked it. He's a really good cook, and I think it came out great. Hope you like it. Everyone in town appreciates you. Uh, appreciates what you've done, not just for us, but the entire island. Yay! Cheers for Sheilove! And good riddance to the Chance Corp! Hip hip hooray! Oh, that's so cute! They gave me a cake! Oh, man! Right, I need. To, I do need to find your mirror, though. Let's just have a look around. I mean, that is the mayor's office. Like, Julian would be there right now. Apparently your mayor doesn't like, just, just likes to leave the cat lying around, so we want to try and find him. And see if I'm allowed to, to buy land. This is frustrating, because it's taking time away. <laughs> I need to be doing other things with it. Ah. They do, I reckon I could probably take quests from their quest board as well. Hello! Tiffany, ah, oh, I've seen you on some of the splash screens uh, loading up. I've heard about you from Natsuo. He says you're also a farmer. Well, if you need advice, you better come to me. Oh, come ask me, because I'm the best. Okay, lovely. Are you the mayor? <laughs> I need the mayor. Who are you? Bobble. Wah! There's a robot! Called Robbie. Oh, Robbie, not Bobble. Beep boop! Can I get a robot? I want a robot. How do I get a robot? If I'm if I make friends with you, will you tell me how to get a robot? You lost commoner. That's no surprise. Hoo 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 hoo. Oh, interesting. I go in there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep wandering around, trying to meet people, and eventually maybe I will find the mayor. He should be in his office. Maybe it's because it's a market day. Who are you? Are you the mayor? Once again. Oh, visitor, you say? My name is Joshua. I run the best furniture shop on this entire island. Feel free to look around when you get a chance. Okay, not the mayor. Who are you? Oh, Farah. Yeah, I'm so excited we don't get many visitors. Please call me Farah. I specialize in all sorts of wallpapers you can use to paint your house with. Oh, sorry, paint your house or make fabric with. I love, love quilting and my collection kind of got out of control so I opened a shop. Oh, if you love sewing and fabrics, come talk to me, okay? Even if you don't, I like making new friends and we'll find something to chat about it. Sorry to hold you up, I'm sure you're busy. Okie dokie, see you later alligator. So I'm, fi I'm finding out who people are right now. Um, I'll have a quick look at the board. I know it's Melanie down in um, Wahoo Beach. Natsuo, Natsuo, Kim, Fashamin, Dr. Beardenheim. Want some cheese? Who are you? I need to know. I need to know who you are. One minute. No, I need to know who you are. One minute. Lonan, there's such a beautiful feeling of serenity and peace when watching the snow fall across these mountains. Okay, cool. I have a feeling this is going to take some time. Mm -hmm. What if I want to marry a pumpkin? Uh, sorry, a Diamond Falls character instead. What if I find one of those I really like? Oh no! I 
don't know when the mayor's going to be back. This is very annoying. Unless the mayor actually is a cat. I've stroked that cat many times now. So I went up to the top there. Um, I've been to several places now. I suppose I am finding out a lot about people. Who are you? James. You a visitor from another town. You say jolly good. My name's James. Good to meet you, mate. You can find me running the bar late at night. We'll chat later. I'm sure you're busy. I don't want to hold you up. Toodles. Okay. Who's your mayor then? Who are you? Oh, you're basically Rose's equivalent, are you? Yeah. Hi Hideo. Wait, I don't recognise you. Either way, welcome to Diamond Falls. My name's Hideo Arashi. Fashion expert and trendsetter. I sew all the latest threads you see here in Diamond Falls. Be sure to hit up my shop. Uh, sorry, hit up my girl Loxie at the clothing shop before you leave. Okay. So these guys are going to be like the equivalent of the people at the clothing shop. Fine. Maybe I can head to the diner late at night or something. Or the bar late at night. Wherever the bar is. We've got a bar here. Bar and diner. Here it is. Okay. Nope. That is not the bar and diner. I can tell you that right now. Where am I? Oh, that's the clinic. Okay. The library's just behind. The blacksmith's at the top. I will probably just head in to the, the bar and diner late at night and just see how many people I can find in there. And then we'll we'll head back. I, I you know, I've done all my orchard and everything, and I, I have not given Sebastian a sandwich today, and I do feel a little guilty about that. But generally things are pretty good. Oh, where am I going now? I don't know my way around here very well. Home improvement shop. Oh, I need to go back down here. Okay. I'm just gonna like head into the bar, talk to as many people as I can, and see if any of them introduce themselves as the mayor. Maybe Clem is the mayor. There's every chance. Um, so who's around in here today? No one. All right. Do you guys not like have social lives then? I see. Maybe later on in the evening, I guess. I wonder if I can still get in the library. I want to try and check on the diamond fall trees. Ah, people are running now for the... Hikaru. Hello. I've got a good feeling that it might be Clem who is the who is the mayor but I could be totally wrong about that as well oh how do I even get to the library oh my goodness this place it's just full of traps um eh, let me through <laughs> okay people do seem to be heading for the bar now I think uh Or running home. Oh gosh. I, I think I need to go home now. I think I do because I think I don't think we're finding the mayor today at all. I I'm really really disappointed because I had the money to buy a plot today up here and to expand, and I'm like no. So we're gonna go back to Pumpkin Vale. I'll come up here tomorrow, and we'll see. Uh, if we can have a bit more luck, but this is wasting hours every time. That was a whole day wait. Well, not wasted, but you know, spent doing that. A lot more people around here. A lot more. So I'm just sat here now with a load of money in the bank going, hmm. I was supposed to spend today like giving things to people as well, and I'm like, I hope I'm not going to run out of time. I've got four days, even for the rhubarb pie and the rainbow trout, so I will need to do a little bit of fishing for Sister Emmy. I do want to be better friends with Sister Emmy as well, so I, I kind of almost think it's time to go to bed now. Did I have a little look at my TV and breadfruit curry, nice. 
keep calm and carry on. Ho, 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 ho. Learned how to make nothing. Woohoo. Always happy when that happens. Okay, we'll have a sleep. We'll go and check on the orchard. Fingers crossed it's all good. It was a rainy day yesterday and I didn't water everything because I shouldn't have had to. Uh, but I did check on it. I did make sure it was all rained on properly and, and all of that stuff. So fingers crossed that should be okay. Pistachio tree still looks nicely watered. Uh, the animals all look well fed. There's a couple of poops I need to scoop in there as well. So I'm just going to... Oh no, I should water my crops first. Oh, they all look watered as well. Okay, I need to come back and check on them later, I think. Right, let's check on this orchard. This orchard is in the bane of my existence, but it, it's going to be so good once I have all the stuff from it. Yeah, so... Looking pretty good so far. Those guys will probably be the only ones that need watering, I think, at this point. Um, let's have a look. The cinnamon trees all look really good. They might need some. They might all be grown up. I can't really tell. They don't. There's not a big visual difference in the cinnamon trees. So I definitely need to water the pistachio today. And then we can start giving out presents to people. And I can maybe just head straight up to Diamond Falls and see if I can find... I think it might be Clem, who's the mayor. I don't know if it says in the journal who the mayor actually is for each place. Because, like, for example, Julian is here. So... Julian. No, it just says what gifts they like and stuff. So mm, you've got to just know, I think. Oh, I'm going to start again with the watering. I don't know how much I watered. But everything but the pistachio trees is fully grown and nice and happy and lovely. And hopefully I could just leave this. And then if I've got other trees that I want to plant, I've got a little bit of room left for them. I may demolish this house as well. People have said in the comments that might be a good thing to do just to make a bit more space. And then I've just literally got a tiny well in, in, in the corner there. And the rest is just full of trees and it's going to be like amazing. I just fill my inventory up with with all the, the fruit and nuts and things off the, off the trees. It's going to be so good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do then I think is to try and get myself up to uh, up to Diamond Falls again and see if I can find the mayor this time. It might be because it was a market day last time. It kind of sucks I missed the market day. Um, I was hoping that on the market day I could get myself all the stuff I needed for the trees up there. But I suppose it doesn't hurt to have maybe an extra few days, an extra week or something just to bed in the, to get the pistachio trees properly grown in the area that I'm already in. So let's, um, oh, actually, let's not travel there. Let's uh, get back on Momo. I want Momo coming with me, you see. And I've never tried just travelling on my own without the horse. But I have a feeling if I'm not on the horse, it could go very wrong. So we're going to go to Diamond Falls and I'm going to see if I can find the mayor today. So we're up here. It's 11.33. Here is the mayor's office. Um, can't get through the door apparently. wrong with this thing? I'm so confused. I just want to buy stuff off you, mate. Oh yeah. Right. So it's still Casper. Oh! There was another room. Hi, Tanya. My name's Tanya, the local secretary. Uh, we hope you enjoy your stay. Right, okay. Oh yeah? I've been trying my best to negotiate with Jounce Corp to not build their factory in our town. They've already begun building a factory near Pumpkin Vale. It won't be long before this island becomes a fog-filled mess of a factory. Ugh. Oh yeah? I need to return a belonging to Greg. Can you deliver it for me, please? Sure. Okay, I'll find who Greg is, I guess. 
You're so nice. Just in case Greg is is the person that I need to, to find. You never know. But there is no mayor here. There's just Tanya and Casper so far. As I say, it might be Clem that's the mayor. It's a case of finding that person. A good old ride around, I guess. You're the blacksmith. Oh, hey, Hello, Karu. Hello. Are you enjoying the snow today? It's quite lovely, but I can't take much time to admire it, as I must continue with the work today. This is the bishop, the blacksmith. Um, so never mind. So Tanya is like the equivalent of Tessa down in Pumpkin Vale, but I still haven't found the actual mayor now. Rather irritating, to say the least. This Julian just stays in his office all the time. Is this their library? Oh, they've got a nice library. Look at their swanko library. Okay, well, while I'm here, I may as well have a quick look at the... Trees? It's farming, I think, for the trees. So let's have a look. So I want to know about the trees in Diamond Falls. Right, spring trees. Apricot, plum and walnut. So I have chestnut. Pear and chestnut are summer. And then pear and chestnut for the fall. So I need to find apricot and walnut. Apricot and walnut. Okay. Well, we can try and have a look at that next time. But I still need to find the mayor. And this is not easy to do, apparently. All I can really do is to keep going because I don't know who the mayor is. So what I could try and do is if I think Clem is the mayor, for example, I could try and find... Who are you? Oh yeah, that's James. Okay, that's the bar owner. So go back and try again in here and see. Are there any other doors? Oh, here's a door. Is this... Oh, okay. I'm a Muppet. At last. Welcome to Diamond Falls, Fukuyama. Hello. Aha, I'm Mayor Fukuyama and I hope you enjoy your stay here. See, this is because you have fancy rooms in your house. <laughs> okay, at least that was, it was only two days worth of me not being able to find doors. I thought there was a door to outside and then actually when I was going around, I was like, hmm, there is no other, there's no back door. I'd like to buy some land. Oh, nice. Okay, so we can do this today. Very nice. Right, let's have a look at the map and uh, see what I think would be a good place. So, there's the town farm plot. There's the cave farm plot. And the lake farm plot. But there are some other plots that I don't know exactly how I would uh, I would go in about getting them. Um... Oh, the lake one is by Lake Dyer. And it has... Yeah, you know what? The lake one would be best because it's literally got a fast travel location right by it. And that, for me, is really important. And then, also, I can just fast travel up there, tend my trees and things, and then I can go fishing up in Lake Dyer. That'd be really good. Or Lake Deer. I'm not sure how that is, is said, but I think the lake plot would be the best one. I don't know whether if you get the, the town farm plot, whether you get both of them. I mean, that would be really good. That's loads of room. But yeah, I'm going to go for, I think I'm going to go for the lake one. Boom. Tangy tastes. Lemongrass ranch. Moonlight farm. Sky high ranch. Pretty pie ranch. Prickly pear. Obsidian. Peony farm. Pretty pie. Moonlight. Clover drop. I kind of want something to do with trees. Jasmine, Whisper, Rainbow, 
Vanilla Breeze, Ruby Red, Wasabi Ranch, Alabaster Ranch, Sunstone Ranch, Crunchy Crop, Promise Ranch. I like that. Okay. Um, Promise Orchard, though. Promise Orchard. Because it promises me that it will give me nice things. Okay. Congratulations, that plot is now open for you to build on. Thank you. Okay, so I'll need to run up there just now. But in future, I won't even need to come to Diamond Falls. I will just go straight up to Lake Dyer. Which will be amazing. Yeah, so I am really dumb. <laughs> I found one room and not the other. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Last episode will have been so annoying for so many of you. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at my plot. Up by the lake. Oh, gosh. I, I, okay, sorry. No, the... I think I would go up here and go around. Some more stairs. Like, ah. <laughs> I love this area so much. This is why I wanted my plot near a fast travel location. Because I suck at directions. So I'm pretty sure if I go around here somewhere, um, there's like a, oh. I'm sure there was a way across. Mind you, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a ton today. Like, even just finding the mayor and getting the plot of land is absolutely fine by me. But Sebastian didn't get a sandwich again today, so I feel very bad about that. Um, You know what? Fine. I, I don't care. I'm going to just head back <laughs> down into the town and I'm going to go home. And then tomorrow I'll fast travel up to Lake Deer and I will properly segregate everything and make it all look lovely and i will get i'll try and get apricot and and other seeds for the trees and stuff uh from the seed shop here maybe but there's not a, a ton that i can do today i can um plum was summer wasn't it plum and no pear and chestnut were summer so i think what i might want to do is come up here with a bunch of chestnut seeds grow the chestnut trees or plant in the chestnut trees then try and see if I can find any pear seeds, but I probably won't be able to right now. I need to look for pears. But yeah, anyway, we have our plot of land. I can't find my way to it right now because I suck. But let's see if anyone's around uh, to, to hand in stuff to. Because I might, there might still be, just just because it's late. I should. I need to go to the Diamond Falls Lake plot. It should be marked on my map and compass. Oh, delivery for Greg. I forgot about that. Let's cancel it. I'm so sorry, but I don't think I'll be able to do that in time for you. Oops. Right, is Blake around? I doubt it. Blake will probably be in Blake's house. Yeah. So I'm going to say probably no for that. Jamie, are you around? Yes, Jamie is around. Jamie is in the bar, I think. Right, so we can give the bluegill to Jamie. So that's at least one thing that I have given in. Thanks. Wonderful. Is this something you might like? Friendship 20. Yes, I'd like that. Uh, Jamie's friends plus six friendship points. And... Some weird flower that I probably haven't put in the museum yet. Yep. Wonderful. Thank you, Jamie. That's awesome. Why, hello. Okay. What's next on the list? Uh, we haven't got the trout. We've got popcorn for Rose. Where is Rose? Sleeping? No, Rose is out and about. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can find Rose with the popcorn. Oh no, Rose is inside the clothing store, I think. No, Rose is... around the other side of the clothing store? No, inside. Okay, so that's not a thing. Uh, chamomile tea for Sister Joan is the next one. Sister Joan, are you up and about? Yes, you are. You're coming my way.
Sister Jane's just uh, walking down the path there, so wonderful. Chamomile tea for you. Thank you for your assistance. You're very welcome. Please take this. 20 friendship and 6 friendship points and <laughs> some amber. Oh, lovely. Okay. So, Fires, are you around anywhere? I've got sugar for you. No, looks to be inside uh, the furniture sh store thingy, so probably will need to be earlier in the day. So, the next thing, I can either go to bed or... If we don't want to go to bed, what we can do... Oops. Ah. What we can do is a bit of fishing. So, maybe I will just do a touch of fishing, uh, see if I can catch myself a rainbow trout. I believe it's a river fish. I really hope it is. So let's see what we can get in, a, in the next hour or two. And I'll probably just shove these fish into my... Ha! That's amazing. First one I caught. was exactly what I needed. So that's for Sister Emmy. Emmy is... Possibly about. I don't know. In the temple, well, well, we'll go in and see. It might be open. I don't think the temple ever shuts, so. Let's see if we can find Sister Emmy. Because if I can give in a load of these presents uh, to people, these quest presents, then I'll, I'll feel a lot better about the amount of time that I wasted not knowing where the mayor was. <laughs> I do feel really dumb about that, so please don't laugh at me. Hi, Emmy. Three rainbow trouts. Having no sight, I have little use for decoration. Perhaps you would enjoy it. So, 20 friendship. Um, and an English green tea set. Lovely. Excuse me. Have you met with a spirit before? They're truly magical and worth getting to know. Well, except for Pumpkin Jack. Try not to pay him any attention. Okay. Some interesting things. Can I talk to you again, Emmy, actually? Are you having a good evening? I bet Abigail is going to be at the bar again tonight. I don't think that's befitting of a priestess, but who's going to stop her? That Abigail. Let's go home. Sister Abigail, and she's not at the bar actually. Let's have a look at these. Porphyry, no, citrine, mm, turnip fries. I could absolutely make those for you. Banana pudding, I don't know how to make those. Seaweed salad. I'm gonna accept it. Blueberry jam, I can absolutely do. But Alec, I don't know who Alec is. That's interesting. So tomorrow I do need to go find Blake. Um, so three days for Blake's rhubarb pie. So I really need to make that a priority. And I do need to make Sebastian's sandwich a priority as well. Oh, look, my sunflowers and my strawberries are all done. Yay. Okay, I think it's time to go to bed. And then we're going to have all oh, the cherries are done. So much stuff is done. That's amazing. See, it's nice having the trees. Once you once you get past that awkward stage, chai. I have so much cinnamon, camellia, cinnamon, ginger, and milk. I don't know how to make ginger, but that might be really cool. I like a chai latte. Like I say, in the last episode, in the middle of it, a kilo of chai latte mix showed up. <laughs> I love it so much. Tea is mad tasty and good for you. Tune in next time for more recipes. Okay, crafting channel, wooden shears. Okay, well, it gets it out of the way, I guess. Let's have a sleep. Not that late. <laughs> we can do five hours today. I've got a lot of travel time. I sleep on the bus, okay? Don't shame me. And it is raining today, and that is wonderful. And I'm going to go and feed the animals, get the eggs. I'm not even going to worry about the tree today. I 
I'll also stop sitting on all the eggs. They are mine. My eggs. Not yours. I pay you in food. So that is a fully grown up, I think, um, tree now. So I'm hoping if that's the case, then it wasn't long after that I planted the... And also that, was gone, that one went back to sapling as well. So I'm hoping it won't be too long now until the, the proper... Um, what are they called? Pistachio trees get, get done. That will be really cool. So I've got a load of stuff to do over here. I need to visit my new plot though. So we had... All the plots seem to be 20k each. That is not hard to get. So I should be able to get loads of different plots everywhere and we can grow whatever we want, make whatever we want, grow whatever trees we want. It's going to be amazing. Okay, I'm going to visit my orchard. I know this is a weird way around and I'm going to give Sebastian a sandwich today because poor Sebastian, we haven't been working very hard on him because I've been trying to find that mayor to that silly hiding, hiding in that room. <laughs> oh, I suck. I really suck sometimes. Yeah, that, that's that one back on the ranch is def on the on the on the ranch is definitely that one. I'm going to still be really paranoid, and even though it's raining, I'm going to water these guys. But I think the orchard is like pr getting pretty bedded in now, and I'm pretty pleased with it. And I'm hoping that in the summer. We're going to come down here one day and the trees will be sparkly at the base and I will be like going around with my little tree tool, raking in the money. Probably put some storage boxes or some, um, or so, yeah, probably some storage boxes around here as well. And I'll use that to store some of the fruit maybe, or I'll get another shed. You know, my shed did disappear, but I might get another shed and put it. In the other place put it in, and or maybe more fridges i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do ah uh, orpheus's lemon trees are already growing sebastian no why do i keep forgetting you you're supposed to be my true love although i'm finding all these tasty boys up in uh in diamond falls so i don't know i think you have to have a house in the place where they are to be able to marry them and stuff and I think I might even need one house bigger than I've got to do it as well. I'm not sure. Uh, let's, uh, then we need to go find Blake. So sandwiches for you. Cool beans. Yeah, absolutely sure. So Jay. So Sebastian's almost at two and a half hours. So you guys that were saying like, oh, it's going to take you so long. No, it really won't. That's going up super fast. And all those extras that I'm giving to like Komoko and all of that sort of thing, it will be, by by year three, we'll, we'll definitely have a wedding, I reckon. Okay, so now I want to try and find Blake. I have rhubarb pies already. I don't know what Blake's sort of schedule is or anything. I just know he lives kind of out of town. I've seen him through a window once. I'm just going to... Oh. This isn't fun. Ah, I'm like so stuck. This is what happens when you try to take shortcuts in life, okay? <laughs> so I might just want to try and go across the, the river pro the proper way. Which is this way. He lives out in the woods, so I don't know the, you can't even see him on the map really, um, I don't know what the, the plan for his day is or anything like what the schedule is for him, so it's going to be a bit tough. Black Mask is here, what if Black, Black Mask wanted something for me? Oh, seaweed salad, I haven't made them though, so. Oh, is Blake in the shop up here? Is that who Blake is? Seems to be moving around. Moving around is good. Yes, it's you. Oh, I can't believe I never talked to you before. 
Right, let's pocket this and uh, rhubarb pies. There you Thank go. You. Thanks, I guess. These are some leftovers Evan made. You can have it. Plenty friendship points, though, so that's awesome. And some pineapple cakes. Nice. I can't make them myself, so I'll pop them in the fridge in case someone ever asks for them. Mate, that's what I'll do. I'll have a fridge full of, like, quest rewards, and I'll just use them if someone asks for it. A medieval knight statue. That's pretty cool. Napoleon crossing the Alps. Yeah, let's buy. Let's buy a, like, a nice picture. I don't have 2,500 to spend on stupid things, though. They are quite nice. They are actually really nice, but, you know. I bought a painting, okay? Hey, anybody else to hand things into? Black Mask needs the seaweed salad in like three, in six days. Uh, other than that, I've got plenty of time. So, I think we should head up to Diamond Falls. Oh, I think I've gone past the bus. Hang on. I'm going to go to Diamond Falls first. Because I want to check out their seed shop and see if there's any seed, seed, tree seeds for sale. Farmer flower shop right up the top. Okay. Make sure I'm going the right way, which I am. Okay, so right up the top of here, we've got a farm and flower shop. I want to try and visit that and see what kind of seeds I can pick up. If I can pick up any for the orchard. If I can, I will pop them down. So then I will have two orchards to be looking out for, but I think I should be fine. So that's the, the uh, farm plot. The animal shops over there. Oh my goodness, everything's really close together in this place. Oh, I see. So that is a, a plot belonging to like the farm shop or whatever. Those look to be apricot um, trees or something. Okay, so in here maybe? Yeah, so what we got today? Pumpkins, we've got... Ah, it looks like we have walnuts today. Hello, nice Catherine. To see you. I run the local flower shop. Well, I don't want to talk to you then. <laughs> I want to talk to Natsuo. Hey. Are you surprised I knew your name? I like knowing who all the farmers are on the island. It's really nice to meet you. I'm Natsuo F F Fukuoka. Another farmer here in Diamond Falls. Uh, Natsuo will, be, will do fine. And Diamond Falls is more of a mining town and the soil here isn't that great. But we make it work. Anyway, enjoy your visit here. Right, let's see what you got today. You have apricots. Right, I would like to buy um, six apricots. I'll take those back. I'll plant them tomorrow. I would like to also buy 12 walnut tree seeds. And that should probably do me like two rows. I, as I say, I might space them out a little bit more uh, in this one. I imagine walnut trees are probably fairly large, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put them as close together. <laughs> None of them. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? They had apricot tree seeds. Well, I'll just buy them then. Twelve of them. I just have money to burn apparently. And Twelve of these guys. We making an orchard today. You're welcome. You stole all my money, but you're welcome. What? Are you are you sick? Oh no, did I leave you in the cold for too long, Momo? Oh gosh, okay. I think we need to go home then and go to the vet. Um, Momo's sick. I think Momo may have gotten cold or like not fed enough or something. I, I don't know what's happened here, but to the vet right now. Nothing else matters. You matter more. I'm still gonna ride you to the bus stop though. In fact, is there a vet up here? Oh, it was right by... 
where we were. Hang on, let's see if we can get to that vet quickly because uh, before they shut. Because there's no way we're getting back to the Pumpkin Vale vet. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Is this the vet? Where's the vet? Where's the vet? Where's the vet? This is the vet. Okay. Never had a sick animal before. Oh, that's Clem's house. No, that's not the vet then. Where's the vet? All oh, right, okay, animal house and vet. Dr. Bill, time. a visitor I see. What brings you here all the way to the mountains of Diamond Falls? You must come here to study under the great Dr. Biedenheim, the greatest scientist in the entire land. I'm also the local veterinarian. And before you ask, no, I do not conduct experiments on your animals if you bring them in. I love animals. Should your animals fall sick, I'll return them to you better than ever. Cure animal, Momo. Cure. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how you got sick, but I cured you, okay? Momo, you are like my 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 dude, so you are not going to get sick on my watch. Okay, so I now have all the tree seeds I need. I clearly have to be careful of Momo up in this cold weather. So I probably, again, don't have time today to necessarily uh, get the, the orchard up and running. But we've definitely got all the trees that I want so far. I've got chestnuts, walnut, apricot and plum. So the only one I need to find is pear now. So that's pretty useful. So I will go back and I will make the plums into some tree seeds as well. And we'll maybe spend a lot of tomorrow, next, the start of next episode, dividing it all up properly. Like I did with the, the one down on uh, in Pumpkin Vale. We'll divide it all up. I'll probably leave about eight spaces between each tree. See, that seems to work fine. Um, it seems to work absolutely fine if you leave about eight spaces between each tree. So I think that's what we're going to go with for all of the different trees. Some of them might turn out, turn out smaller, but a lot of them seem to end up being bigger than I expected. So <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Did I remember to give Sebastian his sandwich today? Oh, I, I did today, didn't I? No, oh, don't go in there. <laughs> or oh, can I can oh hang on, I can maybe get you in there, actually. One sugar What's for you. That? You're back? Righteous. Here you go. Hit up the arcade on me. Lovely. All these extra six points probably are going towards like Sebastian on quite a lot of them. I imagine he's probably friends with a few people, so. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Moko is still at seven and a half. Sebastian is at two and a half. Yay! Working well. It's working well. And I'm so excited to be getting my second orchard up and running up in uh, Diamond Falls. And if there's anything I want to make up in Diamond Falls, uh, anything I want to grow up there, I can maybe do that at the same time. I'm not really sure. Not really sure what I want to do up there. I think probably just growing the, those fruits. Uh, get the trees going, and then we're going to probably just go down to Wahoo Beach. And uh, I might have to write out a plan for that one. <laughs> I kind of think I might have to just, like, off-camera sit in the library for a while. <laughs> trying to work out what I'm doing, because uh, this, is, this is probably why Momo got sick. Gosh, look at all the poop in this stable. Can I, can I please scoop the poop? Courtney, why are you always sitting in poop? Just needs to be your thing, doesn't it? Okay, so I've got a, a massive harvest to do over here. I need to check on my orchard and then head up to Diamond Falls, uh, to Lake Deer and start planting all of the stuff. I also do need to find plums. 
Um, so I've got apricot, I've got walnut, I've got chestnut. In fact, the chestnut does need to be turned into seeds, I think. Unless I already did that. Chestnut and plum, chestnut and plum. Chestnuts and plums and chestnuts and chestnuts and plums. I've got 12 chestnuts. I've got like a million of them then. And 19 plums. I don't think I'll need that much. I'm going to do like 12 of everything, I think. So I probably have bought too many chestnuts for that. I've got 12 walnut, 12 apricot, 12 chestnut and 12 plum. And that should be enough. Surely that should be enough. So let's put in six plums. I'll get me 12 plum seeds. And then six chestnuts to get me 12 chestnut seeds. And then we'll just, um, I'll do rows of six. Probably put 10 spaces between them or something. And just see how many rows I can get out of that. What I'm hoping for is, well, it'll be five different trees. So I'm hoping for like at least like um, 10 different rows, 10 rows of 10. So I might have to space them less for that. I, I'll, sp I'll space them based on, I'll get rid, I'll probably get rid of the, I'll go to the home improvement store and I'll get rid of the houses that are on my, that are on my plots there. Although maybe a house up in Diamond Falls would be useful. I'm not sure. But once I've done this, once this has happened, I'll be spending a lot of time doing orchard management. Luckily, Sebastian is right by one of the orchards, so that's handy. And in between that, I'll be trying to do lots of different, lots of different uh, social quests for people. And then once the orchards are more sort of bedded in and I, I, I'll i maybe take a break for the winter and we'll go and find a load of stuff at the museum. By year three, we'll have amazing stuff going on, I think. And then I'll then I'll run out of stuff to do and I'll be like, okay, let's get married and then <laughs> I'll end, end the series there. No, but you can have children in this and then the kids, I think the kids actually might even grow up and help you on the farm and be apprentices and stuff. I, I, think, I think there's more to this. And finding out people's stories as well. So it's like, you kind of are like, oh, I'm probably done right now with all of the stuff. And then you're like, but no, there's more, which I quite like. I, I always feel in these games that there's things that I could be doing more efficiently, but I think if you try and get into that trap too much, you end up getting very uh, paranoid about things. If you fall into the trap of like, oh, I need to do this and that and the other more efficiently and then I need to get everybody's birthdays and I need to do everything on a festival. That's not what this is about. This is about let's be chilled and laid back and have fun and and be social with people and blah, 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 blah. It's not about doing everything the most efficient way. It's about sort of role-playing your little life, you know? That's how I feel about it anyway, and uh, I think that you guys watching me prefer that style because the more stressed out you get with it... Oh, okay, you're sleeping. We'll have to do a little bit of animal care tomorrow, I think, as well. Momo, I hope you feel better. Have a look at the TV and then I'm gonna leave you guys pumpkin latte. Oh, it's all the lattes right now. I'm gonna go make a chai latte right now. And a brown dog plushie. Oh, that's wonderful. So we're really starting to get through loads of the recipes now. Like, if you look at this, there is a lot of stuff that is still missing. A lot, but we are starting to fill it all in. Which is amazing. And every day now there's more interesting recipes coming up because a lot of things like the soups are very well filled in. So there's less of them coming up each day. Oh, I wanted to look and see if I could make a seaweed salad. I'm sure that's down here somewhere. Huh. 
I thought I had the recipe for a seaweed salad, and I don't think I do. And somebody's relying on me to make them one. I might have to get rid of that quest. I thought I knew how to make seaweed salad, and I do not, and that's a problem. But anyway, I'm going to head to bed now, and I'm going to say goodbye to you all. Let me put my shears away. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Pumpkin Days and check in on uh, how the uh, Diamond Falls Orchard goes, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.